All right, thank you, Katie. And what started a deadly four alarm fire? A fire that left one San Antonio firefighter dead, another now in critical condition. That's the question federal, state, and city investigators are working today to answer. KZ 12's Ashley Custer live from the fire scene on Ingram Road with the latest on the search for that answer. Thank you. Now, this portion of Ingram Square is still blocked off as investigators are working to go through the debris and determine just what caused this blaze. Meanwhile, you can see that there are many people driving by, most stopping to pay their respects to the hero who dedicated his life to saving others. Fire crews were called out to this shopping center in the 6700 block of Ingram Road Thursday night just after 9. That fire so intense, crews called out a rare May Day. The rapid intervention team shifted their focus to locate a couple missing firefighters. They pulled out two firemen from the blaze, Brad Phipps, who is currently in critical but stable condition, and Robert Vasquez, who's now home from the hospital. Both had tried to reach fellow firefighter Scott Deem, but they could not. And Deem, unfortunately, did not make it. The first San Antonio firefighter killed in the line of duty in 20 years. This news hitting many San Antonians hard. They have to put their lives in jeopardy, and uh, it's sad, but yeah. somebody has to do it. Be in our prayers. I know that uh, I kind of feel sorry for the fam that he left behind, you know, especially the little kids. That's sad. There is a small memorial here at the scene, but the fire department is encouraging people looking to leave flowers and notes to do so at the memorial at public safety headquarters because this is still an active scene. Now, just a few minutes ago, the fire department said the National Fallen Firefighters Memorial recognized Scott Deem and will fly their flags at half staff for the next few days in his honor. Here live on the west side, I'm Ashley Custer, KSAT 12 News.